Perhaps you've heard, let's say, an impossible story or a rumor of men who came from the sky or from other worlds. There are no other worlds. The stars. Lights shining through from heaven. They are able to observe phenomena. No, they that... can't observe. <laughs> it's too far away. It's too theoretical. How do we know what they're saying is true? It, you know what it really is? It's all science fiction. <laughs> science and science fiction are essentially the same. Thank you very much. Science with science fiction. They're both the same. How do you balance science with science fiction? They're both the same. One of the gentlemen said, Well, there are three dimensions space, uh, 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 length, uh, width, right? And then you have the concept of time. As the so something dimension. happens within that space, you got time. That's the fourth dimension. Yeah. And I said, Well, I, I, I get that. Something happens within a cube, and you, you have time, and then you have length and breadth and, and width. And, and I get the, what's the fifth dimension, I said? That's a, a fantastic band. A fantastic band. band. <laughs> that, that, that was my first thing. So I said, just give me another, because he said there's 11, then he said there's seven, 17, and then I heard lately there's 26 other uh, 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 spaces. Uh, uh, Dimensions, dimensions, multiverses. So, so, no, wait a minute. So I said, well, just give me one other dimension. I don't care about 16 or 17 or 26. What is the fifth dimension? What is it? Give me another dimension. And the answer is, <clears throat> we can't conceive of that. <laughs> you know, right. so, so, so that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Well, it doesn't mean it does exist. <laughs> you know, so I mean, how? How, so I said to Dr. Kaku, he, he said, uh, it, it's, it's in the, because he's working on string theory. You know about string theory. Yeah, and I find that incredibly yeah, confusing we too. Don't, but we're not talking about the stuff you wrap a package about. Uh, <laughs> it's vibration of some kind in a string. Okay? So I said, how, how, he said, it's like music. I said, well, I understand an orchestra with vibrating instruments. I got that. What do you play? What's your instrument? What do you do when you get up in the morning, doctor? What What do you do? And he says, it's all in my head. I think. I said, well, how do you prove what you're thinking exists? Because it's all theory. He said, well, I've got this very elegant uh, uh, the numbers, equation, equation, yeah. Very E, B, the bottom, the seven, the four. It's all in his head. How do, how do you prove a black hole? How do you know those gravitational waves proved the collision of two black holes? Somehow, eventually, they are able to observe phenomena. No, they that... can't observe. <laughs> it's too far away, it's too theoretical. How do we know what they're saying is true? It, you know what it really is? It's all science fiction. <laughs> so does that, does that make you a skeptic? No, well, science fiction says, this is a story that I'm making up. And, and there's this thing called wormholes. And that's a science fiction concept. Although the scientist says, say there are wormholes. How do you know? Science and science fiction are essentially the same. Science and science fiction are essentially the same. So you better sit down. Listen very carefully. 
The earth is flat, gentlemen. Maybe in Omaha, Nebraska or something. The, the, the shot is so clear. Is this a hoax? Are you really in space still? See the hair? See the hair? See the hair? Ground control to Major Tom. Ground control to Major Tom. A rocket man. I can hear machinery blinding me with science. Mars ain't the kind of place to raise a kid. About the time when men still believed the earth was flat, mm. and that the sun revolved around it, and that if a ship sailed too far out into the ocean, it was missing control. I've got some news for you that's going to shock you, so you better sit down. Listen very carefully. The earth is flat, gentlemen. That's right, it's flat as a table. Don't get me started. And we start inventing things that it could be. It's just another universe tickling us from outside. That's all for now. Leave your questions for the next expert in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. This is Neil deGrasse Tyson saying, as always, keep looking up. Don't get me started. Think for yourself. You have to be willing to, to cut against the grain and get the distance from your peer group. Don't get me started. And I would just sum this up as a very terrible, bad, horrible day for NASA doing live feeds. Just Neil, do you mean the first man to walk on the moon? Talk about a fish story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, and they're buying it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. No different. Only different in your mind. You must unlearn what you have learned. <laughs> Do you hear me? Ready to go to Mars. Uh, it's going to be a fan. What an amazing cheat. Uh, amazing. What an amazing cheat. Uh, amazing. What an amazing cheat. Uh, uh. So why didn't I flinch? Because the laws of science differ fundamentally from those of... Before we leave you, here it is. Your moment of zen. Uh, now here it is, your moment of zen. I've ever thought of saying you I get it myself. away from me. You're a coward and a liar and a thief. And all this science, I don't understand. It's just a job. Five days a week. Yeah.